Sixth grade, module two, lesson 12, classwork. Discussion, divide 150 by 30. So we there's many different ways we can do this. Um, maybe you wanna start by doing the standard algorithm. You could do it like that. Um, you could also see that 150 divided by 30 we could cancel out the zeros and make it 15 divided by 3, so it would be equal to 5. Um, so then if we wanted to do the actual algorithm, 30 can't go into 1, it can't go into 15, but it can go into 150 five times, and 5 times 30 is 150, so it's equal to 5. There's different strategies that you can use to solve it. Exercises 1 through 5. Round to estimate the quotient. Then complete, compute the quotient using a calculator and compare the estimation to the quotient. 2,970 divided by 11. A. Round to a one-digit arithmetic fact. Estimate the quotient. So we're going to start out by having 2,970 divided by 11 but we want to get it down to a one-digit arithmetic fact. So we're going to round. Though I know 11 is close to 10, is 10 is pretty easy to divide by. In 2,900, I'm going to round that to 3,000. And we could cancel out these zeros. So we'd have 1 divided by, or 300 divided by 1, which would be equal to 300. Or we could eventually, we could even get it down to 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3, and then just add the two zeros back on. So our estimate is 300. Now let's use a calculator to find the actual quotient and see if our, um, see if our estimate is correct. So we had 2,970 divided by 11. So 2,970 divided by 11. And if you don't have a calculator, I'm just using an app, I think it's called The Calculator. So it's free. It equals 270, which is pretty close to our estimate. So it's equal to 270. Our estimate was 300, so our estimate is pretty close. So I would say the quotient is very close to the estimate. Number two, 4,752 divided by 12. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get it down to a one-digit fact, and then we're going to estimate. So we have 4,752 divided by 12. So that's where we're starting. I'm going to round 4,752 to 5,000. So remember, we're trying to just get it down to one digit. And 10, uh, or 12, I'll make into 10. So we have 5,000 divided by 10, which then I'm going to turn into 5 divided by 1. So I can cancel out one, two zeros, but then I still have two left. So 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. And if I put these two zeros back on the end, I get 500. So my estimate is 500. Now let's use a calculator to find the quotient. So it was... 4,752 divided by 12. We get 396. So 396 is pretty close to 500. It's not quite as close, but it's we're not like thousands off, so it's not that bad. So I would say the quotient is close. to the estimate, but or you could add on and say, but not as close as the first estimate or something like that. Or you could just leave it and say that it's close because it is pretty close. Number three, 11,647 divided by 19. Okay, 
So I'm going to round 19, that's really close to 20, and 11,647. Um, let's make that 12,000. I could also make it 10,000, but this is 11,647 is a little bit closer to 12,000. So I'm going to get this down, I'm going to cancel these zeros, and I'm going to turn this into 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6, but I still have these two zeros, so it's 600. So my estimate is 600. Now let's use a calculator. We had 11,647 divided by 19 equals 613. So that is very close to 600. So I would say the quotient is very close. to our estimate. Number 4, 40,644 divided by 18. Okay, so I'm going to round 40,644 to 40,000 and 18 to 20 because then I can cancel out those zeros and I'll have just 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. If I add back on 1, 2, 3 zeros, I'll have 2,000. So my estimate is 2,000. Now let's use a calculator. So it was 40,644 divided by 18 which is equal to 2,258. Which is close. So I would say this is, it's not very close, but it's close enough for 258 off. But we're talking in the thousands, so it's not that bad. So I'd say the quotient is close to our estimate. And number five, round to a one-digit arithmetic fact, estimate the quotient. So we have 49,170 divided by 15. Okay, so 49,000, that's really close to 50,000. So I'm going to make that 50,000. And then 15, if I, round, I could round it up to 20, but it's not easy to do... 5 divided by 2. So I'm looking, this 5 is important. So I'm going to make it a 10 instead so that it's easier to divide. So I'll get rid of these two zeros and make it 5 divided by 1, which is equal to 5 with 1, 2, 3 zeros. So this one might be a little more off, and that's okay. So our estimate's about 5,000. Now let's use a calculator. Was forty nine thousand one hundred seventy divided by fifteen. We get three thousand two hundred seventy eight. So I would say that our estimate. Uh, it's it's kind of close. So I'm going to say the quotient is somewhat close. To our estimate. But not as accurate as previous problems. Okay, 
Example three, Ex estimate and apply the division algorithm to evaluate the expression 918 divided by 27. So let's estimate first. So 918 divided by 27, let's round. I'm gonna round 918 to 900 and 27 to 30. So I'll cancel the zeros. So if we have 9 divided by 3, that's equal to 3. And I'll add this one zero on, so my estimate is 30. Label it there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the division algorithm. So 918 divided by 27. So 27 can't go into 9 but it could go into 91. Let's try three times. Three times seven is 21, carry the two. Three times two is six, plus one is eight. So we get 81, so it can go in three times. Bring down the eight. So let's add another 27 and see if it can go into 108 four times. Yep, so it goes into 108 four times. So our actual answer is 34. So our estimate is very close to our algorithm. And that's because what we used in our estimate, 918, we made into 900. So that's only 18 less. So we're really not taking much off of that part of the division problem. And then 27 to 30, also we did to increase it by that much. So this is why it's important that in your estimates you're seeing how much you're taking on or off, and then based on that, that's how close or far away your actual answer or quotient would be from your estimate.